What is a lecture? What is happening there? A lecture is a meeting of people. Spiritual theories consider a meeting to be a satsang. A satsang is a group of people with pure consciousness who get together for the love of purity and the Supreme. On the physical level, in social life, we regard a lecture as an opportunity to get some knowledge. A lecture is a good chance to know what spiritual theory is. When masters summon a big audience to transfer their knowledge, they are engaged in work with people's minds. A real master always knows what kind of work he should do, because he sees why people have come to him. If people are advanced, the master gives more knowledge. He slightly opens the veil and pulls them out of delusion, because he is working at the level of consciousness and intellect. If a master is advanced, he also works at the level of bioenergetic consciousness. As a matter of fact, everything is consciousness, everything is information and energy. Put simply, a lecture is a good chance not only to get food for thought, but also to be up close with the master's energy and emanations, to receive a part of his experience так называемым излучением, и получить какую-то уже часть его опыта. After that, in the process of further development, a person can make a decision to follow this master or to stop and look for another master. Correctly arranged textbooks and other reading matter can, to some extent, also play the role of a teacher. But nowadays it is not free from danger, because we can be faced with obvious distorting of information. Unfortunately, today books aren't always good friends, because information given in them is often sophisticated, controversial and hard to understand. At a master's lecture, you can ask him a direct question and he'll give you a direct answer, which will help you to understand an unclear point. A master should keep up with the level of his students and give them information according to the level of their consciousness. In fact, the master's task is to give a little more than his student's level implies, so as to inspire people and awake their desire to develop themselves. This is a very good opportunity to develop oneself. To some extent, a lecture is an initiation. At a lecture, people are given a chance to get the first insight into the spiritual theory to feel the master and to gain an impression of him. Besides, during a lecture, a sort of purification takes place. People are purified of their negative programs, of negative information, and of their personal karma. It happens because their biofields are being adjusted. This is very intense and meaningful internal work. If a master is advanced, he is able to do such high-profile work. As a rule, after a lecture, people feel inspired and enthusiastic. Such inspiration is necessary because it is something people are driven by. A master leaves an impression in a person's consciousness, and it allows a person to raise oneself to a higher level of understanding. Usually, a feeling of joy emerges in consciousness, and people feel a desire to do something for themselves and for other people. It is a blessing or inspiration. If a master has some qualities connected with the oneness and spirit, then this inspiration remains. After the lecture, your good emotional experience is left.